Yeah. Okay. I don't know anything about this game either. I like at some point it got put on my wish list and then I saw it only takes an hour to beat and I don't know. Yeah. Project Nightmares, Case 36, Henrietta Ked Kedward. Interesting. Okay, we can play with the control. That's not a creepy baby or anything. Your noise, Nine? I think you mean your nose. That could be wrong. Facilities Project Nightmares, Division of Paranormal Activities. Well done. Let's start. Communication ready? Move your head if you can hear me. I swear to God, Zeke played this at some point. Because I'm like remembering this. I'm going to guide you so you can understand everything. You're currently inside Hypno. Thanks to this machine, we can achieve the perfect connection between a patient and an evil object. Everything we know about Case 36 has to do with Henrietta Kedwin. Apparently, she was the evil old woman of the town. Did his wife leave him, Zoe? I, was, I saw something about Robert it, but I wasn't sure. The team found a mysterious dog with a strong malignant energy in a town that ceased to exist long ago. Remember, your mission is to find a way to clear out this energy. The dream will give you a connection with his past, so we can understand its history, what happened, and how to end the evil. Be very careful. The evil entity will find many ways to kill you. And as you go deeper and get closer to it, it will become even more dangerous. Oh, did they, Zoe? Right. Let's start phase one. You're going to start feeling sleepy, so just let yourself go. Dude, all because Tom Brady couldn't take another season off of football. Like, he couldn't just retire. It's going to cost him. And she was she made more money than he did. Man. Yep, Zoe. Yep. Yeah, Liz, it's like, I mean, it's weird knowing people with, like, my age that have, like, you know, kids and shit like that. And, like, I don't know, man. And just we're, my wife and I are just like, I'm 39, she's 38, she'll be 39 in December. And we're just like, you know, it's true, Zoe. It's so true. Yep. Or 39 in my case. Uh. Wow. Everything looks so real. God, my balls. You're my balls look up. perfect. Maintaining prolonged dialogue between my balls have the right amount of hair on them. Woohoo! But we will guide you as we obtain more information. Good luck. Candles, candles have been used to light one's way since ancient times. The witches of ages past discovered that the color of a candle's wax alters the spiritual energy its light emits. 
The yellow candle has a very useful light for protection against evil entities. Light an unlit candle with another in order to help protect yourself. I don't have any more, I guess. Keeps you young. So you're going to energy vampire out the 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 cum of the youth, uh, Zoe? All the cum keeps me young. Doo -doo -doo. All the cum keeps me young. All the cum keeps me young. All the con come. I'm a super Virgo. I am a super Virgo. Jesus. Oh, not me. Okay. I think Zoe's a Virgo too, aren't you, Zoe? I don't know. Why did I think Zoe's a Virgo? The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Thanks for showing me the magnifying glass. Liz, I always wondered, and I assume because of the, the like, I've never looked into any of it because astrology isn't bad in my mind or anything. I just, I've never, like, got into it, got into it. I always thought it was funny that I was supposed to be born in October, was born in August. And I was like, hmm, wouldn't your sign have something to do when, with when you were when you were supposed to be born, not like when you were actually born to. I always wondered that. I always wondered that. Yay! Yeah. Someone's shit on the wall. Why are you out here shitting on the wall, my friend? Oh, yeah, it's like if you don't take it seriously, I think it's cool. If you, like, make your life decisions based off of it. Why did I see the number 12? Ah. Is that, like, the horniest sign under the sun, Liz? The hornier you are, the more likely. Because Zoe is by far the horniest person I've ever met. Oh, I love her. Door's locked. Something's blocking the door. Man. I feel like my whole Discord is a bunch of Scorpios then. You sluts. All of you, you horny, horny sluts. You horny, horny sluts.
can't get the door open. Aren't we in some kind of simulation program and you can't open a door? The time has come! Sound the Naberty! The Naberty! What's this button do? What's this button do? Viana! Welcome back to my red! Oh, no, Gizmo! Thank you, dear. How are you doing today, you beautiful woman, you? It's good to see you. I appreciate you. Thank you for 13 months of support. Whee! Yada is a hoey ho, and that's why we love her. Whee. I mean, Viata, that sounds like a perfect day for you. Uh, my day was fine. It was work. Work being work. And then... That almost made me poop a little bit. And I finished up the game I was streaming on Saturday. And now I'm playing this other weird horror game called Project Nightmares. And here we are. Zoe is horny everywhere, Liz, not just on Maine. Zoe, I have you watched the How to Build a Sex Room show yet? Because I feel like you would be like <laughs> I just pooped a little. I just pooped a little. So if you haven't watched the How to Build a Sex Room show, there's a like there's like a a poly family. I think they're a poly family. There's like seven people who like. Oh yeah, yeah. She would be like, no, this is not. No, you need more drains. The P the P needs to go down this way. It needs to go down this way. If you have the P going, not a high enough angle, then you're gonna get into problems. And it's always like if you're poop play, you're doing poop play, you really need it to be clean. You call that a flail? Ha! Ha! What kind of riding crop is that for? Like a miniature pony? What do you think Zoe is? Zoe's a horny, horny po Clydesdale. The horniest of Clydesdales. The horniest of Clydesdales! Zoe's like, bad dragon? Bad dragons are her warm-up dildos. She doesn't care. Zoe don't give a fuck. Oh, Zoe. Oh, Zoe. Are you just... Zoe's perfect weekend is being used as a cum dumpster. What's your mercury? 
Then Liz, what am I? August 24th, 1983. You could tell me. I don't know what that means after, other than I'm a Virgo, but. If you're gonna start eating stuff across the room, ghost, you you better you better be picking it up. I like how this motherfucker just drops the game on the, the fuck. locked. I mean, I think you're just using my name in vain, D. That's all. I understand. I know what's happening here. You said a rod. You said a rod. That's why. Twat! I can't hear you. Locking the door. Twat! I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Zoe, I have to ask if you're comfortable. I mean, I, I, I assume you are, but what is the largest? Number of people you've ever been banging at the same time. Hello? Wake up! Wake up! Yes! Okay, I was born, born in Des Moines, Iowa. Like, I think at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. I think, Liz. Des Moines. Desmonez. Desmonez. I hate Jeepers Creepers and will never watch anything to do with that movie with that shit creepazoid that fucking came up with it. Yes. The boy from Desmonez. Oh, I mean, yes, it doesn't surprise me. We, I, I went and saw, uh, the wife and I went and saw, uh, uh, Smile on Saturday. So, yeah, fuck that movie until the end of time. We. No, I hated the first Jeepers Creepers before I found out the, the fucking guy who made it was a fucking kid toucher. Yeah, Smile was really good. It was like, It Follows meets the ring. What the fuck was that? I have a fucking heart attack in this movie. 1983. 1983. I'm old, Liz. So old. It was good, yes. I enjoyed it. Not like the most original movie I've ever seen, but it was good. Okay, I'm already getting tired of this game.
D E S space M O I N E S, I think. I've not I've only driven through Des Moines since, but I can't get the door open. People at the party, Zoe. Yeah, there's an S on the end. It probably is pretty late for you, Liz. That's probably what's wrong with you. I can't open this door. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning, I think. It was either 1 or 3 a.m., I think. But I think it was like 3 a.m. You could do 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. Like, to see if it affects it. I don't know. Well. You're good, dear. You're good. Uh, this is dumb. Dumb, 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 My wife had got con a concussion last year and she's like hated what it did to her brain real bad, you know? I mean, regular stupid, but it's like getting older, right? Liz, there is not one ounce of you that I, uh, from my interactions and how, when I, was that? from knowing you, that I could call stupid. Why are, like, windows breaking on walls that don't have windows? I am a sensitive man, Liz. I am I'm a very sensitive individual. <laughs> I get very like worked like which is funny it's the whole you know the whole ADHD feeling like the the thing about how ADHD people feel things more extreme or a part part of us do. Yeah, I am completely up that alley. I mean nobody knows everything, right? No intercourse while on site. Oh, Liz, that is. <laughs> Liz, you know how hard sometimes it is being friends with uh, uh, CK because of like, you know, you know how she is with communication. And my brain is like, that means she doesn't like you. Why? Why? It's just like, and that happens with everyone though. But like, it's, it's just, you know. You're like, I'm like, stop it, brain! And I have to fight it. And I have to tell it to stop being stupid and shit like that. Yeah. Yep. It's just fighting off telling my brain that it's stupid and it needs to stop telling me things that aren't true. You know? I, I have been wandering around these same fucking hallways for half an hour now and uh <sighs> <sighs> 
Yep. Very much. It's like the the I always feel like I'm a burden or being a like a pain in the ass with for even with friends, you know. Um Can we open this door, please? I haven't found anything and it's like <sighs> doors locked. So am I looking for something on walls? I like I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm about to give up on this and just find out what we're gonna play tomorrow. about to give up on this game. I don't like whatever the fuck this is. Like, the game is good looking, but it doesn't, like, it's not giving me anything. It's just like... This game is actually fairly pretty. There's nothing to pick up in here. Nothing to pick up in here. Oh, dude, I th imposter syndrome is like my middle Stop name, Liz. <laughs> I've gotten more confident late, like over the last few years, but like, yeah, it's like, I am a millennial, Liz. I am too a millennial. Sarah! What the fuck was that? I'm, I'm the edge of the millennials, but I'm a millennial. Sarah, how you doing, dear? I we're talking uh we're talking all these things and I and Liz is Yeah, I'm an elder millennial. Planets had anything to do with signs. I, I don't know. I am I old. Open. I'm very old, Sarah, but like, I mean, Liz, but like, yeah. Sarah, how you doing, dear? How are the little shitheads? It's good to see you, friend. It's good to see you. Man. You know what it means, a nine? It means I saw Oasis, like, before they, they, like, broke up. Man. I have to, I have to ask Sarah, that seems like it would be, like... It's an old mansion of some kind. It would be, like... This must be the Kedward house. It would be hysterical, and you just, like, try not to laugh at it. What an interesting object. Maybe if I turn these pieces... Are you 
you fucking kidding me? distorts in a strange way. Maybe it'll help me see something. I don't, I mean, all I, all we know now, Liz, is that Oasis, that, that you just see the two brothers. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It, the brothers hate each other and they just talk shit constantly. It just reminds me of Craig from South Park. How Craig always flips everyone off. In a champagne supernova in the sky. Someday you will find me caught beneath the landslide. In a champagne supernova. What kind of kinky sex are these guys having? Look at this. That's pretty funny, Sarah. In a champagne supernova in the sky. The fuck? Caught beneath the landslide. What's that? What am I supposed to do with it? Everybody flick Sarah off now. Flick Sarah off. You're not gonna call my dad, Sarah. Double. <laughs> Someday you will find me caught beneath the landslide. God, I wish I could sing. I wish I could sing. But I cannot. And it is the world we live in. It looks like some kind of code. Seven left. Whatever. I don't know. Yeah. I'm done with this for now at least.